Hello guys, welcome to a Minecraft video, and my name is YouTuber Forever, where today we are starting a brand new series that is called Redstone for Noobs. Now this series is going to be pretty short, it's going to be my first try at doing this, because this is my, like, my sixth video, So and remember to leave a like and subscribe. So let's get right to the basic thing on redstone so if we load our world up right here hopefully um if we go into our inventory as all you know we have its own separate category for redstone so if you click on the one with the redstone dust dust this is our basic redstone items um defenses um are kind of redstone like iron doors the oak doors and all those doors, I don't know why they would put them in the redstone category. I think that's the only one that they really fit in, I guess. But let's get right to it. So, redstone is base is found not as rare as diamonds. It's actually not that hard to find. It drops about four through eight pieces, if I'm right. But anyways, let's get on with the basic things to redstone. So our basic things are... A trip wire, a button, a lever, a redstone torch, and we can't forget our red and our redstone. Now, now let's just place a few of these redstone circuits. In the history of redstone, redstone necessarily in Minecraft is electricity. They tried to make it realistic as they could. They wanted it to be more old time, so this is like electricity in Minecraft, if you did not know that. So, redstone, let's start, oh guys, we, I don't know why, but we forgot our pressure plate. We're going to do a wooden one. We're going to do that one right there. Let's have a button right here. Let's put some redstone in here. Let's do a lever. Um, these work very well. I'll explain all of them. A redstone torch, which we'll place later on. So this right here is when redstone is not powered. We're going to start off with the pressure plate. If you step on a pressure plate, you're going to get the signal. Most of you know this, but I just want to go over this real quick. The redstone will keep on going. Those little particles mean that it's on, that it's powered. And if I let down, it's going to turn off. It has about a 0.5 second longer um, signal, even when you're off it. A button... Um, has about a 0.5 second signal. So if I press this, it's about a second or 0.5 seconds, if I'm right, um, is how long the redstone circuit will stay on. Then our lever. A lever gets a permanent redstone signal until you flick it back off. Now, the redstone torch, just it stays on until we destroy it. But we'll get on where it does turn off because we are not telling it I don't know if you want to say that telling it to turn off now next we're going to talk about the trip wire trip wire is a little different in redstone signal it's like a pressure plate kind of so if we set one right there and one over here we're going to actually use our sheep as our testing subject just type in sheep here and we will put the sheep in later, but string, if you do not know, if I can spell it right, string, if you do not know, is actually placeable. Yes, it is. You can barely see it, but there it is. String, that is the power that we need for our trip wire. See how that one's up and that one's a little more down? See, now that one's connected. You can see because that little line that goes up. That means they're fully triggered. See how they go down? up now if we place some redstone just right here it powers same on the other side it's just like a pressure plate did you see that this is very useful for traps that's what i would use trip wires for you but that's another those are the basic redstone signals now i didn't really have this planned as great as you think but let's get on to some, let's get some, um, what are they, a dispenser. A dispenser, most of you know, 
defensive thing. So we're gonna go over here and we're just gonna place these all of them down and we're if you let's take that off that redstone circuit. If we just get some arrows here real quick. I can spell it right, guys. I'm doing horrible spelling today. We just grab ourselves some normal arrows. And we're just gonna do that. We're just gonna put that many in there and then grab a stack for the next one. So, this, this is basically just filling up a dispenser because I want to show you which one will work best. If you were just trying to shoot something rapidly like for defense, so this is going to be a little mini targets. True, I still haven't finished them all, but I'm just doing this kind of in a random order. I'm going to make sure I have that. Um, I need another copy of that. Thank you very much. And now we'll get on to that. Now. We have one more, and let's see which one would more rapid fire than which one does the best firing the best. Well, the one that best fires. Um, we're gonna get to the um, oh, I hate that. we're gonna get to the trip route later with this because it is a very useful one. Is that one of those that actually I didn't know at first, I did not know how it worked until I found out when I did a map. But anyways, let's start out with the pressure plate. Let's try out a pressure plate. If we constantly, constantly, we're getting pretty fast, aren't we? But I wonder if we can go faster. Pretty good amount, let's see. Yeah, five, five arrows. We'll just set that right back. Not dirt, we are not firing dirt today, guys. Just to let you know. But let's try the button. Come on. Come on, we're going as fast as we can. This is kind of slow. Now, some of you may know, which one is the fastest? Well, the lever is. Because if I rapidly just spam it, look how many particles are going off there. Just in that record time. Wow. We got 12 arrows. So that one is the quickest. The redstone torch is the probably worst of all of them. So if we grab ourselves a redstone torch, it's kind of slow. You have to destroy it. If my mouth will work, you can destroy it. It's like a process. See, see, sometimes you accidentally press the other button, and that's a little harder. Now with the tripwire. The tripwire is a little more useful, especially for those traps that you want. If you want traps, this is for you. If you want to do just learn this because you want um, to have all these awesome traps, then you are in the right place. So we're just going to put a stack each. Don't do that. And actually, is the sun going down? It kind of is. We're going to not step on the trip right out just yet. But if you have this all, all covered up and you had billions of dispensers around here, and you had a redstone repeater that would repeat a redstone signal going back and forth, back and forth. Once you triggered this redstone, then you would have a pretty good chance of killing someone. But this is just basic. Do it and two arrows. If I go right through the middle, two arrows hit me. And then if I try to leave, that's just another. This is crazy, guys. See, look, I can. This is actually the greatest trap. Not the greatest, but an amazing trap. Now, let's kind of move on. I don't want to make this too long because I do want to have a good amount of episodes. Because we're not going to get too much. We're not going to, I'm not going to talk about building redstone because you can do a lot with redstone. Um, we're going to do, a, like I said, a redstone repeater that will keep on turning off and on. So let's get some stone. And this will probably be our last thing, um, if we'll be right. We'll have about five minute videos. These are just some quick little tips almost on redstone. I'm not sure guys how to do this. So just to let you know if I mess up, I'm very sorry. This is the one that I always get confused on. Of if the redstone torch goes on that side or the other side. Okay, we got it this time. So we press a redstone torch right here. 
It's weird. It's weird. Oh yeah, we have to do that. So let's get rid of that redstone signal. And we're going to put this. Whew. Oh, I get what we're doing wrong. Now watch that. That powers red, redstone back and forth. And it'll turn off that signal. So if you want that, wherever it is. Where is it? Over there to fire rapidly. This is what you guys need to do. Look how simple this is. Just pause the video right here. I've got a good view. Right here. And you can do this. I'm not kidding. You can make your own. This isn't just for me. You can do all this. Try it all out. And maybe you do some things. Why else? Experimenting with this huge boatload of items that include redstone. We will get to the trap chest. Actually, let's do that real quick. A trap chest um does redstone too if we go to the side if we put some redstone right here and right here and we open yeah see how that was powered oh see you see little particles coming off on the side where are my mouses that means that the redstone has was on so that is another trick to do that so that is basically for now redstone for noobs part one and thank you guys so much for watching remember leave a like and subscribe it helps so much for my channel this is forever youtubers here and peace out bros i'm gonna be leaving and let me go